Hello students, today we will discuss about our next article that is electric charge. Now, what is electric charge? Electric charge kya hota hai? Electric charge is defined as the property of the matter due to which it produced and experiences the electrical and magnetic effects. Now, what are the methods of charging about it? Methods of charging about it? There are three different methods by which we can charge a body. The first method is charging by friction. Charging by friction. We have already discussed that when two suitable insulating bodies rub against each other then due to friction both the bodies acquire equal and opposite charge due to the net transfer of electrons from one body to another body. For example consider a glass rod this is glass rod and also take silk cloth and when we rub these two insulating bodies against each other then due to friction there is a net transfer of electron is takes place from glass rod to the silk cloth due to which glass rod acquire the positive charge and the silk cloth acquire the equal amount of negative charge. In this case due to friction both the bodies acquire charges by the net transfer of electrons and these charges so produced on both the bodies they cannot move they are in the state of rest and hence these charges are called static charges these charges these static charges cannot move because they are produced on the insulating bodies and insulator do not have charge carriers like free electrons and hence they cannot move so they are called static charges. Now the second method of Charging is charging by conduction. Charging by conduction. In this case, when we place a charged body in contact with uncharged body, then there is a flow of charge or electrons is takes place from charged body to uncharged body till both the bodies acquire the equal amount of charge or potential. This method is called charging by conduction. For example, let us consider a charge body A which having 
a positive charge Q and also consider another body B which is neutral neutral or uncharged and this is charged body and when we place these two bodies in contact with each other then the flow of charge that is electrons is takes place from body A to body B and if both the bodies are of the same size अगर दोनों बॉडीज का साइज सेम है देन आफ्टर सम टाइम्स बॉडी ए एंड बॉडी बी एक्वायर द सेम चार्ज दैट इज क्यू अपॉन टू एंड क्यू अपॉन Two. In this case, also the transfer of electrons or charges takes place from charged body to uncharged body, and if the size of both the bodies are same, then this transfer of electrons is takes place till. both the bodies acquire same charge or same potential that is in this case q by 2 and q by 2 that is a body acquire positive charge that is q by 2 and b body also acquire the same charge that is q by 2 but if both the bodies are not of same size then these two bodies do not acquire the same amount of charge that is the magnitude of the charge on the both bodies will not be same but they acquire the same charge that is uncharged body after conduction acquire the similar charge and in the, in this case also the transfer of electron is takes place so due to this method the uncharged body also gets charged similar charge that is positive charge now the third method of charging that is induction that is induction in this method let us consider a charged body a which having charge positive q and place this charged body very near to body b which is uncharged or neutral and this is charged body then this charged body attracts the negative charge particles from this uncharged body towards its mirror's face and it repels the positive charges towards the other face and due to this redistribution of charges one face 
that is mirror phase acquire the negative charge and the other phase acquire the positive charge in this case there is no net transfer of electrons is takes place from charged body to uncharged body but the uncharged body nearer phase acquire the opposite charge that is negative charge on it this method of charging a body is known as charging by induction so these are the three methods by which we can charge a body now our next article is units of charge charge ki kya units hoti hain that is unit of charge units of charge in si system the unit of charge is coulomb that is c and in and in cgs system of unit the unit of charge when the charges are in rest that is in rest the unit of charge is e s u that is electrostatic unit electrostatic unit of charge also known as stator also known as stator and if the charges are in motion then the cgs unit of charge is electro magnetic units emu electromagnetic units electromagnetic unit now the next article is relation between si and cgs unit of electric charge इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज की एस आई और सी जी एस यूनिट के अंदर क्या रिलेशन है नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ वी टेक द रिलेशन बिटवीन दिस एस आई यूनिट ऑफ चार्ज एंड स्टेट कुलम दैट इज कुलम एंड स्टेट कुलम देन वन कुलम इज इक्वल टू Three into ten to the power nine e s u, or we can write three into ten to the power nine stat coulomb. Stat coulomb. And now the relation between s i unit. and this cgs unit of electric charge is 1 esu sorry 1 emu electromagnetic unit is equal to 10 coulomb equal to 10 coulomb and put the value of this 1 coulomb here now 1 coulomb is 3 into 10 raised to power 9 e s u. Therefore, 
1e mu is equal to this is 3 into 10 raised to power 10 esu or stat coulomb or stat coulomb so this is the first relation 1 coulomb is equal to this 1 coulomb is equal to 3 into 10 raised to power 9 stat coulomb and 1 EMU is equal to 1 electromagnetic unit is equal to 10 coulomb or 1 EMU is equal to 3 into 10 raised to power 10 electrostatic units. So this is the relation between SI and CGS unit of electric charge. Now what is the dimensional formula of electric charge? Electric charge ka dimensional formula kya hota hai? Now we know that is I is equal to Q upon T therefore Q is equal to I into T. So dimensional formula of charge electric charge is equal to that is current is ampere and time is t that is a into t dimensional formula of electric charge is ampere time a t now our next article is define one coulomb as the unit of electric charge define one coulomb as the unit of electric charge so one coulomb is defined as that charge which repels similar or equal charge with a force of 9 into 10 raised to power 9 Newton when placed in free space at a distance of one meter apart that is if we have a charge Q and we have another similar charge Q when both the charges are placed at a distance of one meter apart in free space And both these charges exert force 9 into 10 raised to power 9 Newton on each other then each charge Q is equal to 1 coulomb is equal to 1 coulomb thank you very much